In this lesson I'm just going to show you very quickly how to edit an image to make it very clear for auto digitizing and generations. So I've opened my Zona Draw 4 and I'm going to drag the eggs into the center. Now you'll see those eggs are quite large so I'm going to reduce the size of them so they fit in my um, work area. Now I'm going to hit my Control U and that will ungroup those eggs and you can see there there's quite a few different groupings on top of each of that. Now I'm going to select the black area and just hit my delete key. I'm going to hit all those black areas and delete them. They will just confuse generations if I leave them there and these are actually layered so I'm going to remove those layers just by clicking on them. I hit the wrong key. to make them just into plain colours. Made a mistake, undo. Now I'm going to my fill and I'm going to change that one to red. Pick another colour, change it to blue. Pick another colour and I've left a layer in there so I'm going to change that now to yellow. Another one to green. And the last one I can change to pink. I'm going to select the yellow one and move it so it colors, covers that hole. Now you can see that I've got two eggs that are actually whole eggs which I can use uh, in generations. So now that all, all that's left is I'll just drag a square around them, hit my control G to regroup them. I'm going to go to file and export it and I'll export them as eggs and a Windows Meta file which is your vector image and click Save. It's asking me do I want to do that because I've already done it before. I answered yes and if you check in each one of these and click OK. Now your eggs will be saved in your image folder ready for you to take into generations to digitize. We're going to import the image that we just did in Zona Draw 4 so click on your import image button Select the image from the folder that you saved it in, click OK. Simple artwork, click OK. Keep the size the same. I'll just move it into the center of fraction. Hold down your control key and select the white areas. And while holding down the control key, hit your delete button. And that will get rid of that background for you. Now if you just generate, there's the eggs that we uh, drew and imported into generations. Now I'm going to select all those, go to accessories and set stitching order. I'm going to cl click on the order that I want the eggs to stitch out. Once I've done that I hit enter and generate. Now the eggs are stitching out in the order that I want. I can click on each one of those and just change the colour of it so they're not quite so bright. and I can turn off the background image. Now if I select the first one I'm going to change it to a complex fill. I'm going to hit my space bar, go to complex and select a pattern from the menu that appears. Click apply and OK. Go down to the next one again change it to complex fill. Hit your space bar and select another pattern. And do this for each of the five eggs now I'm just using all complex fills for this exercise you can use stamp fills if you want to Okay, so if we 3D that, you'll see all the different eggs done in all different patterns. You can of course change the direction of those to give them a different look again. Now I'm going to select all those five eggs and go to Accessories and down to Stamp Pattern, Save Stamp Pattern. And I'm going to name the Stamp Pattern. 
And now I've saved that as a stamp pattern to be used as a fill. So if you wanted to, you could select one of those eggs and then hit your complex fill, your space bar, check you stamp pattern, and then find the stamp pattern that you just saved. You can use the um, menu to change the order of those eggs so that they give a different appearance. You can change the size if you hit the link at the top of the size buttons, both the sizes will change together. You've got a preview window. You can just play with that and check the preview for the look that you want. Click OK. Don't forget to apply OK again. So now when you view you've actually got those eggs saved as a pattern on that egg. Now don't forget to go to save your file in the gen format and also to export it in the format that you use for your sewing machine. OK, I'll be back in a moment for the next lesson. OK, now I'm just going to play with those, with the eggs. So first of all, I'm going to select that pink egg. I'm going to view outline, which turns it grey. I'm going to right click and select divide with a curve. Now I can actually click across and I'm going to make a fancy design for part of the egg. I'm going to click enter, escape and generate. Now you can see we've got a part of the egg in the center. I'm just going to go to complex fill for that one and generate it. And I can also, if I want to, while select selected, change the color of it. I can change the direction of it. And then you can see we've actually made a fancy part for the egg. Now I don't want to sort of pink, light pink, pink, so I'm just going to move that up a fraction. That's just left clicking and moving it up. Now I'm going to select the whole green one. And again, I can view outline, right click and divide with a curve. And this time I'm just going to do some fancy curve in there. And then hit enter and generate. I can select that curved part of the egg again, just make it darker. I could if I wanted to change the direction of it and generate it. Again, I can hit my space bar, go to complex and select a different pattern just to give that some variation where I've where I've done that change. Okay, so you could play around quite easily with these and get all different designs just using your carve tool, or your cutout tool, create a break in the eggs, etc. You could also grab your manual tool and just make some dots on there. I can select those, change them to complex fill, I change the colour of them and also if I go up to that yellow part of the egg, go to view outline, I'm going to right click and create a void using existing areas. This makes it so that those circles that we've just made, click enter, escape and generate, they don't sew on top of the yellow part of the egg. So you can see, you can sort of play around and, and vary the designs on those eggs if you want to. Okay, that's the next part of the lesson finished.